I'm gonna plant some lima beans, bush beans, peppers, and tomatoes. It was a little drizzly this morning. Jeff came through and tilled this field up for us. The soil looked perfect yesterday. We got a little bit of rain overnight, but luckily the soil is still dry and good to work underneath. So you just wanna make sure the soil is not too wet. Um, if you work wet soil, it will, once it dries, it will become like concrete and it's not good for the plants because the plants need moisture and air circulation in their roots and everything to grow. And that really hard compact soil will just inhibit that and um, won't help them grow. So luckily the soil's good. What we did to prepare our planting site, we rolled out this corn cob mulch um, first. So this mulch is gonna protect as a layer to keep weeds down. It also helps um, regulate the, so the soil moisture and uh, temperature. So in really, really hot summer weather, like out here is very exposed. We don't have a lot of wind breaks. It is direct sun all day. That mulch will help keep the soil cool and nice and weeds down and it'll help keep moisture in. Um, so watering out here is a little bit of a challenge. We do have um, water uh, faucets over there. We have a hose, but it's a little bit harder than in the children's garden. And that's one thing when you're growing vegetables and stuff in a production setting in a larger scale, you really have to think about your water source and where it is because that can be your most labor intensive <laughs> um, thing throughout the growing season. But right now, these are beautiful pepper plants. Um, we have a few different varieties. We like to do some just regular bell peppers, very mild sweet peppers, and then also some hotter peppers. Uh, people like a variety, I know I do. So these we started, oh, maybe about 10 weeks ago in our greenhouse. Um, we've had multiple rounds. I always like to start pepper plants really early. The seeds take a little longer to germinate than um, like tomatoes and squash and things like that. So peppers can be a challenge to start by seed, um, but with patience, it's usually a lot of patience. You think they, they should have germinated already and they didn't, um, but they take a little while. And these uh, pepper plants love warm weather. They're definitely part of our summer planting, like tomatoes, eggplant, okra, peppers, just really love a hot, warm weather. To plant our pepper starts. So we set up our stake and our string just to have nice straight rows and we're ready to go. Um, what I'm gonna do is just pull the mulch back, take my lovely shovel, dig in a little bit. And you can see the soil is perfect right now. And it's nice, this field here, especially this section of the field, is a little compacted. It hasn't been in production for a while. It was a, a little bit a part of a walking strip. So I just wanna make sure it's nice and loose down there for those uh, roots to be able to get in and have good circulation. It's breaking up any clods, all that, that looks beautiful actually. Oh, there's a little worm, good sign. That's perfect. And I am gonna add a scoop of our lovely, beautiful compost. This compost is made from the animal manure, bedding, and all of that that comes out of the barn each year. So this is gorgeous. And also, I forgot to mention, when I started our pepper um, seeds, and when I pot them up, once they start to grow a little bit, I pot them up, I mix in our vermicompost, our worm castings to that, um, which gives them a little boost of nutrition and microorganisms and everything that the plant needs to grow. And I always like to remind the kids when they come out that this is a living thing, and it's a part of a whole web and cycle of other living things around it. 
So once we understand what this plant needs to grow and the other life that supports it, we can help create that environment for it to thrive. So we're just gonna place it in. These are pretty little, so I'm not planting them very deep. You definitely wanna have the soil covering the top of this. This should be all the way underground. The plug should be all the way underground. So I'm just gonna cover it up. Looks good. Kind of give it a little firm thing. And it's we will come back after we get all our rows planted and water these in. It's really important to water after you plant. The water will seep down into the soil and it pushes out any air pockets and all of that and just helps the plant settle in. And we'll come back throughout the growing season and cultivate to keep weeds down, but also help to make sure that circulation is really going. Good circulation uh, for air and water is really important. And we'll kind of tuck this back a little bit. Once it gets bigger, we'll pull the mulch in around a little bit more, but we want to give it space to grow. And we'll space our, another, our next pepper. Mm, I would say maybe everybody kind of, some people like to go wider. I tend to go a little closer. I heard that peppers like to grow once they're mature, their leaves just touching each other. So for me, that would probably be right about here, maybe 18 inches, two feet apart. Um, and that's where we'll plant the other one. But thank you for joining us and get out and grow.